Hello, welcome to Learn Swift for Beginners, Lesson 6. In this video, I'd like to introduce you to two more types of loops, and that is the while loop and the repeat while loop. And these two loops lets you execute some code until some condition is met. So that's different from the foreign loop where it repeated a certain number of times. Okay, let's do it. For this lesson, we're going to create a brand new playground, and I'm just going to call this the loop to playground. Okay, so let's cover the while loop first. Take a look at this slide and let's go through how to declare a while loop. So the keyword here is while, followed by that you have some sort of condition, and it's very similar to an if statement. So the while loop is going to uh, repeat that chunk of code as long as the condition is true but as soon as that condition becomes false it's not going to repeat the code anymore after your condition you have a set of curly brackets and inside of the curly brackets that's where you have the code that you want to repeat so let's do a quick example back in our playground so I'm just going to declare a variable here I'm going to call this uh, let's say counter and I am going to um, set this counter to 10. And then I would like to print hello. Uh, let's use 5 instead so it doesn't print that many times. And I would like to print hello as long as the counter is um, above 0, let's say. So I would say something like while counter is greater than 0. I would I would do this print right here however this is going to keep repeating as you can see because counter is always 5 so inside my while loop I'm going to oh, computer is dying okay as you can see it eventually overflows and crashes okay so what I'm doing here is I am decrementing counter by one for each iteration of the loop so as you saw when I didn't have this line of code it just kept printing hello many many times because this condition you know, would always be um, would always be false there was nothing changing the counter variable from 5 to 0 so I'm just going to warn you about that if you're going to try this on your own computer. Um, you know, if you have a slower computer, it might, it might take a lot longer for you to get out of, that, <laughs> out of that loop. So you can write this statement first. Make sure you have um, a statement that is decrementing your counter. So again, this minus equals is the equivalent of writing something like this. Counter equals counter minus 1. So you're just taking whatever value counter is, you're minusing one, and you're setting that as a new value for counter. As you can see here, it's what you would expect. Right? You get hello five times. Now, let me point something out to you right here. Uh, what if counter was, let's say, negative five? You can see here that nothing gets printed out because um, this loop is going to see if this condition is false or true before executing the code, right? So it evaluates the condition and then it decides whether or not it should run this and repeat it. Now the second type of loop, the repeat while loop, is very similar to the while loop except that it checks the condition after looping once. So it checks the condition down here. Let's take a look at the syntax. So you start with the keyword repeat, and then you have a set of curly brackets, and inside the set of curly brackets, you place the code you want to loop or repeat. And then after the ending curly bracket, you have a while keyword, and you, then you have the condition. So the syntax of this repeat while loop is very intuitive, actually. It's basically saying repeat this piece of code while this condition is true. Okay, so let's go back to the playground and let's do an example here. So I am going to use the same example. Okay, let's print hello here. 
and we're going to have the same thing counter equals counter minus one and we're going to say repeat this chunk of code while counter is greater than zero so as you can see it's pretty much the same loop um, or same condition rather right while counter is greater than zero and that's the same thing I have up here for this while loop and let's just print something else here so we can differentiate it and you can see the repeat while loop actually prints it out once and then it checks the condition and it realizes oh I shouldn't repeat this chunk of code because this is false right whereas this while loop it checks the condition first and it realizes this condition is not true and it won't print at all so that's that's the main difference between the two types of loops both types of loops will repeat a chunk of code until a certain condition is false except that the while loop checks first and the repeat while loop checks the condition after repeating once okay so that does it for this lesson please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next lesson bye for now